Thursday and today is Draw With The Grandparents Day. Thank you so much to everyone who sent in superhero pictures yesterday. They were absolutely fantastic and we love to see them. But today we are going to be drawing thistles, so very Scottish. So let's get on to that. So with our thistles today, we've got lots of leaves. So I want to do some swirly leaves, which we're just going to do very flowingly like that. So straight line, and make your pencil just really flow across the page. Can you see where I'm holding it though? I'm not even halfway when I'm doing these. I'm going pretty much to the end of my pencil to make sure that my lines are super duper loose. Just like that. What I'm also going to do is going halfway up now. I'm just going to do some spikes because at the top of our thistle, I don't know if anyone has seen the thistles, but they are quite spiky. So just some little marks like that. And we can lean quite heavily for those. Right, I think I'm ready to get on with the picture. So we are going to start with the basic shapes. And for our thistle, what that is, is a U shape, just like that. And we can make it slightly pointed at the end. So I'm gonna do the end first and just make sure there's a little point. And then I'm gonna bring it up with some really loose marks. Just like that and you can make it as big or as small as you want and you can do loads on the page you can do whatever i'm gonna now bring down the stem so just two little lines and i'm gonna follow them all the way down and if it takes you a while to get the line completely straight that's fine but also remember that it's a flower so the line's not going to be completely straight and if you want to pop those in that's our first step So I'm just going to take my rubber and I'm going to rub this little line out here and I'm actually going to bring this in slightly, just like that. And the same with the other side. And then I'm going to do some zigzag lines all the way across. And you can make these quite big. I think when I did my first one, I made them too small. So don't, don't put your fingers right up here and make really small marks. We want big big lines for this bit and then we're going to come on to the flower and when I paint this with watercolour pencils I'm going to use a really lovely purples and pinks but for now all I'm going to do is just those spikes that we started with and we're just going to make them in a shape that kind of goes up down and round so just like that and that's our second step if you want So the next step that I'm going to do is on this part of the thistle and I'm just going to put in some really loose lines and we're going to do those in a kind of crisscross pattern. So I'm going to do them diagonally this way and then diagonally this way as well. Not too many, just enough to give it a little feel. And then I'm going to do the leaves and I'm going to do one up here and one down a little bit. And we're just going to do these quite spiky because they are quite spiky plants just like this and then one big spike there and if you want you can add in so many leaves you can do going all down your thistle and attached to the stem there now this is a really beautiful picture and I'm going to come on and paint it but you don't have to paint it you can use your colouring pencils, your crayons or your pens. You can use whatever you want to colour it in, but I'm just going to give you a quick idea of how I'm going to use watercolour pencils to do it. So I've got all my pencils here that I'm going to use and I'm going to use these colours for the flower and colour flowery and colourful bit at the top and then I'm going to use this for the stem and the leaves and what I want to do is press really hard when I'm putting down these marks I'm going to outline the leaf or the leaves both of them with this green and I'm going to try and put all the pigment on the page because if you have been watching the daily draw videos for a while you will know that these pencils do not have graphite or lead in them they have paint pigment 
So by putting these really harsh marks on, I'm getting a lot of the paint pigment on. And then what I'm gonna do after that is just really, really lightly, can you see I'm holding the pencil at the very top of it, put in some marks, just like that. And actually, I'm just gonna add in a line coming up the leaves there too. And then I'm gonna move on to this bit. Now we want to use three colors, but I want to use purple a lot more than the others. So I want most of it to be purple actually. And what I'm gonna do is start off by doing the marks that we made earlier. And then I'm just gonna add in a lot more of those up like this. And then I'm gonna just put in a bit more pigment there. And then gonna use my pink color and I don't want anywhere near as much of this as I've got the purple, but I just want a little hint of it. And the blue watercolour pencils that we've got are really, really strong. So I'm going to make a few lines. Can you see I had three marks of blue there? But you should be able to see it. So then I'm going to start. And the way that I'm going to use my paintbrush is make it go up just like the thistle would. And have those spikes showing. Just like that. So the paint is still, the marks we've made are still being turned to paint and you can still clearly see the purple colour. But we've got these spikes coming out. And can you see we've got bits of blue and pink in and that's what we want. And then I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to start turning these green leaves to paint as well. I'm going to do the other leaf. We don't need too much water on our brush for this because as soon as the brush touches it, it's going to turn to paint. I'm just going to do some marks at the bottom there so that it doesn't just stop. And can you see that even though we're turning the pigment we put down to paint, you can still clearly see those marks that we made at the beginning. So I think this would be a lovely picture to send as a card to anyone who you've not seen in a while, maybe a member of your family or some of your friends, but please send us your photos because we'd love to see them. I really, really hope you enjoyed doing those pictures as much as I did. And if you are so proud of your picture, then please send it to us because we would really really love to see them every time that we open Facebook or Twitter and we see your pictures they just make our day so please send them to us tomorrow though it's Friday fun day and mum is going to be back and she is going to be doing Shrek pictures so we're going to far far away so I'll see you tomorrow for Donkey and Puss and Boots <music>